This is America in Space, a weekly news and information program on current events dealing with the space industry. From the Washington News Bureau, here is your host, Rick Potluck. Reporting for America in Space is Space Coast Editor Don Meyer. The Mars Perseverance rover continues to make firsts as its MOXIE experiment extracts the first oxygen from the red planet by converting some of the thin Mars carbon dioxide rich atmosphere into oxygen. Here is a representative of the Boston Museum of Science to explain the MOXIE experiment. NASA's newest Mars rover sure has MOXIE. And by that, I mean the Mars Oxygen In-Situ Resource Utilization Experiment. We call it MOXIE for short. MOXIE is a shoebox-sized instrument that sits near the front right side of the Perseverance rover, NASA's latest robotic Martian explorer. Perseverance carries seven different instruments on board, and MOXIE has to be one of the most intriguing. Its job is to test whether we can generate oxygen literally out of thin air. Martian air, that is. Mars's atmosphere is much, much thinner than Earth's, and it's made almost entirely out of carbon dioxide, or CO2. A CO2 molecule, as you might guess from the name, is made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms bound together. So, if you can find a way to separate oxygen atoms off of CO2 molecules, you could generate your own supply of oxygen. And this is exactly the process that MOXIE was designed to test out on Mars. It uses a pump to pull in Martian air, and then uses electrochemical processes to separate oxygen from the CO2 in that air, turning CO2 into oxygen and carbon monoxide. The process requires temperatures of nearly 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit, which means MOXIE had to be carefully designed out of materials that can withstand high heat. The entire instrument had to be coated in a thin layer of gold, which is good at reflecting heat, to prevent the incredible temperatures generated inside it from affecting other parts of Perseverance. Once the oxygen is separated out from the air sample, MOXIE can analyze it to see how efficiently and effectively the system worked. Then, once the analysis is complete, MOXIE vents all of these gases back into the air and prepares itself to start again. This process takes so much of Perseverance's energy supply that all of its other instruments need to be shut down while MOXIE is running. And then the rover will need to rest for most of a Martian day to recharge its batteries. The goal is to do as many of these oxygen runs under as many different environmental conditions as possible over the course of Perseverance's mission. We're hoping that MOXIE can regularly create samples that are over 99% pure oxygen. If we can prove that it's possible to make our own oxygen on Mars, we will be one step closer to being able to send human explorers to the Red Planet. MOXIE is an exploration, technology, investigation, and demonstration that could pave the way for isolating and storing oxygen on Mars. That oxygen could then be used to help power rockets to lift astronauts off the planet's surface and might one day provide breathable air for the astronauts themselves. That does indeed take a lot of MOXIE. From NASA's Space Coast in Florida, this is Don Meyer for About Space Today. Join me and Don Meyer, our space news editor and a 28-year veteran of the Space Shuttle program for the splashdown of Crew-1 tomorrow at 11.25 a.m. on Twitch TV. And be sure to invite your family and friends to join us. And follow us on Facebook at About Space Doc today for the latest updates on the next space missions. And to all of our friends in the U.S. and around the globe, thank you for listening. I'm David Denault for About Space Today. Thanks for listening. Join us each week for news and information on America in Space.